you guys, this is my pleasure to introduce this lady. Uh, Miss Jacinta Peak is the lady that plays Jasper. And let me tell you, when I say she's lived the life of Jasper this year, and uh, Jacinta, you know, I was just thinking of as I was at home, the things we've been through just to put this production together, yes. just kind of living this production out. Yes. And she has a wonderful testimony, and we'll have to get back with you guys later on just Amen. to go through all of it because it's Amen. that long. Amen. But let me tell you, she's an awesome woman of God. Jacinta, could you please tell me about the role of Jasper and what it means to you? Well, Jasper, um, God is so good because in a lot of ways, I really am Jasper. Yeah. I have like really lived her life. Mm -hmm. um, Jasper is got this battle between the drug life and the church life. And she's actually, eventually she's gotta let go one of them. Um, and she's dealing with uh, a boyfriend that um, is her supplier. Um, which it relates to me a lot because I used to be on drugs. Yes. And I also used to be a prostitute. Mm -hmm. um, Jasper went through a whole lot. Yes. But as it, at the end of the day, you're going to have to choose one. Choose ye this day whom you will serve. <laughs> That's right. She's going to have to let one go. Let one go. Well, you know what? My last question to you is, um, you know, I think about young women and them coming to the play. Do you think it'll be life changing if somebody needs answers about relationships or various situations like that? Do you think it'll be life changing for them to come see this play? Oh, it would be awesome for them to come and see it. It would be life changing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been already praying for a breakthrough yeah. for the um, younger women and the older ones too, because we all, all women go through uh, these certain trials yes. such as uh, what Jasper went through. So. And, and I've been praying that, that this play will touch lives, and not only mm -hmm. touch lives, but save lives, okay. and bring in, bring more people into the, the heavenly kingdom. Well, just said to I thank you, and uh, before I leave, you know, I think this play is gonna honor Nikki, our cast yes, member that passed yes, away, yes. and I think God is gonna be glorified by yes, it. So yes. thank you for your time, okay? Yes. We're gonna do this, right? Amen. Okay. Amen. Excellent. Hello, everybody. I'm here with Ramey Blankenship. Ramey, now let me ask you a question. Are you enjoying the play so far? Because basically, you were the last person <laughs> to get here with us. Um, and we're so glad to have you. But um, could you please tell them about your character? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I play a, a pastor that's kind of taking over. Uh, a congregation that, that's, I don't know how to put it, just uh, kind of wayward, you know, they mean well, but, but it's more about them, you know, a, a little a little out of order, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it's uh, kind of a group of people that I'm not used to working with, and, mm -hmm. and I'm kind of stressed out in the play, and, mm -hmm. but in the end, it, it makes for something really entertaining and it's got a good message so yeah and you I know think it's going to touch a lot of people yeah i think it will and you know as i look at your character from a director standpoint it's an awesome character you play because it has it, your role is so spiritual i know it's a pastor's role but sometimes we're, when you're doing plays they forget the spiritual side the spiritual aspect of what right. they're doing and so you would agree with me that you take it well god uses you to take it to another level right yeah i, I, I guess the, the most important thing i can say is that i feel like god handpicked me because everything that, that's going on in the play has either happened in my life or mm -hmm. is currently happening in my life you know and, and it's it's almost like god ministering to me it's in answering a lot of my my life questions okay. and I think the most shocking thing about the place so far is how spiritual it's been and how real, you know, how how God is really in it and it's not, you don't really have to act or try to be somebody else if it's really God doing something. You just have to show, you know, let other people see what God's doing on the inside. That's right. And Ramey, I thank you for coming out here and supporting us. You're an awesome guy and I just love you, okay? God ah, thank bless you. truly my pleasure to introduce to you Tony Webb. And Tony plays a character named Roscoe. 
And Tony, could you tell them about your character a little bit? Roscoe is <laughs> Roscoe is Roscoe. His name is kind of his character. Mm -hmm. He he's you know he's a deacon at the church, uh, but he's the kind of deacon that every church got. You know that you know. Uh, Roscoe would tell you what he thinks. Yeah. And, you know you might Roscoe might drink a beer. You know? <laughs> yeah. But he's a good guy. He you know he and, and, and he he tries well and he tries hard to do the right thing. But he's Roscoe. Yeah, he is. He's very funny, you guys. This guy is very funny. Roscoe was 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 was, was well written. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you've done a good job with, well, with this you. character, thank you. and uh, I'm kind of glad you picked him for me because you know yeah. I've known you your whole life, and I've, you know, <laughs> so I got a little Roscoe in me. Well, I don't think no nobody, I really don't, could have played this part like Tony Webb, you guys. And so for the people from Moulton and the surrounding areas that know Tony or saw Woman to Woman, our second play, please come and support Tony and his efforts. Please. You're gonna enjoy yourself. It's, it's and, a powerful, it's yeah. a powerful story to the to the play, and uh, I'm just very, very happy and fortunate to be part of it. I, I thank you every time. Oh, you know, thank every you. So. And I thank you for your time. He's been faithful, yeah. you guys. You know, I love <laughs> faithful you. guy. Yeah. Hey, come oh, to the wow. play, Molten. Hey, <laughs> yeah, Molten, me. support me. Come see me, Freeman and Tabernacle. Tony, Freeman Tabernacle. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Leanne. Hey. Hey, it's my <laughs> pleasure, guys, to introduce to you Leanne Avery. She's been with me from the beginning, faithful woman of God. And Leanne, let me ask you a question um, about your um, character, Gardenia. Could you tell them a little bit about her? Well, first of all, Gardenia means a type of flower. And when you think of a flower, you think of beautiful mm -hmm. and just real. Mm -hmm. And that's me. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm a kind-hearted person in my play, but I agree to disagree <laughs> with this young man. Like, mm -hmm. it seems like we're always bumping heads. It doesn't matter what I say, he has to disagree with me. Mm -hmm. um, but that's it. I mean, I'm real. That's right. I'm real. That's right. And I mean, somewhat, you're kind of like the character because you have this smoke about you mm -hmm. and this tenacity. I mean, you're not totally like her, but I just like the part um, that you have that tenacity that she has and that drive mm -hmm. and, that and you know and I will say this as far as working mm -hmm. with you it seems like every time I'm in a play and mm -hmm. I play a cast member Nisha always is either where I am right now or is somewhere where I've been and God has just put it on her it's, it's, it's powerful and like she says third dimension is not just a play it's a movement that's right and um, I'm thankful I appreciate it and as far as working with you I love it oh, I, love I love it you and I just thank you for your faithfulness I it means it. a lot I love it you know yeah. I try to tell people all the time you know what I'm learning is it's not just about us you That's know right. it's not just about us and I know that you give your all and you expect the same from us That's and right. I just want to let you know wow. and let all of them know that I greatly appreciate okay. you for choosing me you okay. know I chose you but praise God anyway mm -hmm. Well, thank you for your time. Thank Leanne. you, baby. I love you. <laughs> Hi, you guys. I'm just delighted. This is my husband in the play. Oh, this is my husband in the play. His name is Darnell Nesbitt, you guys. Darnell, tell me where you're originally from. Well, originally, I was born in Boston, Massachusetts. I was born in uh, Boston, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, my dad was in the military, so we moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, wound up here in Alabama in 1995. Mm -hmm. But uh, after some moving around over those years, back in 2000, here in 2012, I'm back in Huntsville. Oh, right. so. What I want to ask you is just really quickly, okay. um, tell people about your character, Keith. He plays Keith in the play again. Yes, ma'am. Well, I play Keith in the play, and uh, his name is Keith Thompson. It's a supportive role. I play, uh, as it was already stated, I play the the husband to the husband to be of Miss Eden Love Jackson, mm -hmm. who is Which sitting is me right next to me in here flesh. in the flesh, mm -hmm. looking lovely. Well, thank you. You look good too. All That's right. my boo, y'all. Now. I play Keith uh, Keith Evander Thompson, and uh, Keith is a supportive role. He's 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 a man's man, right? He's he's a God man. He he knows he loves God, and he loves him with all his might, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, he loves Eden with all his might. So he he just wants to be that man after God's own heart, who stands as the man of his household. You know what I mean? And uh, the situation with Keith, he's 
he's a business guy. He he likes to get it done. So he's the order keeper basically. He's a he's very much an order keeper when it comes to when it comes to things going uh, the way it should go. Let me ask you a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, do you think your role will change marriages once they come and see this play? Do you think your role will change marriages? Well, I do believe that uh, Keith he plays an in integral part in uh, the, the relationship, mm -hmm. you know, even as as he is uh, supportive, you know, even as it was earlier stated, he's supportive of Eden and what she wants to do, you know, with her life and with the ministry God's given her. Okay. You know, Keith plays a very supportive role of her in, in wanting her to pursue that thing that God's put in her heart. Now, yes, it, it, is a, it is a good thing for marriages and couples mm -hmm. to see, you know, uh, married couples to see because you have to be supportive of one another as in God and in ministry, pursuing, pursuing goals and pursuing purposes. And I would say Keith is definitely pushing Eden in the right direction. Okay. Well, thank you, Darnia. I just appreciate your time. Thank you. You know, you're my dog. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll see light, you later. Camera. Okay. Action. Hey, everybody. Good news, you guys. Here's Keith Bishop. You guys may know uh, Keith, he's done several uh, plays in the Tennessee Valley. He's an awesome actor. And Keith, would you tell him something about yourself? Hello, how you doing? My name is Keith Bishop, I'm from Washington, D.C. I really enjoy acting, plays, writing, I write. I'm a songwriter, I'm a singer. Um, God has really blessed me. I moved here in 05, mm -hmm. and I've been here ever since. Um, I work at Huntsville Hospital. God just really been blessing me to be in several plays, The Misconception, uh, The Sweet Gap, Inc. Um, I'm telling you, just several, several plays, it just go on and on and on, making Murray. Um, so God has really blessed me to, to actually be used through plays. And so the people can see, see that God can use you even through a play. There's a ministry in plays. And I'm blessed to be here with Nisha Shopping to actually to actually be able to use the gift that God has given me to actually give it to you all. And hopefully that someone will be saved. Yes. So um, tell me a little bit about the character. Brent, I'm so sorry okay. you're the guy. You okay. Guys. Well, my character Brent, my name is Keith too, so I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> But the character Brent, Brent is pretty much, he, he think he knows it all. He's smooth, he think he's the smoothest of all smooth. He think he's the, the he got wit, he got strength, he got power, he's just, He's just a man. He think everybody wants him. He can get anybody. Mm -hmm. um, Brent is just the type of person that <laughs> you really don't want to be Brent. <laughs> but you know, if you come out and see the play, I guarantee you it's going to be a surprise because yeah. Brent is really not what it seems to yeah, be. Yeah, Brent is full of surprises, <laughs> I tell you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I hope you come out and enjoy this play. This play is anointed. This play is truly anointed. Mm -hmm. So I pray that God will use you to come on out, that somebody can be saved through this ministry. And the ministry is through these plays. And I'm just blessed to be able to be here yeah. with Nisha, the Thank director you. of the play. Thank you, Keith. Well, Keith, you have a wonderful day. Stay Thank blessed. You.